Okay, this is me, Dan, and my mate Pete. So we came up with this last minute idea to set ourselves a challenge. With literally no preparation, can we have a real adventure on an absolutely minimal budget, packing as light as possible and on the lightest bikes we own, and all this in 24 hours. We arranged to meet up in Mid Wales, where a farmer had said we could wild camp in his field. We even had our own little river. And then the next day, we would go and explore some local green lanes and trails. So I've not even set off yet, and you know that thing that always happens to KTMs? It happened on mine, finally. It's gonna be one of them weekends. Oh fuck! The bike keeps cutting out on the motorway. This is fucking scary, man. I think it's just not getting enough fuel somehow. Oh fuck, this is all I need. That was a fucking nightmare. Uh, I, I just broke down three times on the motorway. It's scary, man. Um, it's funny because I was just thinking, oh man, she's running like a dream today. And then it just went blah, blah, blah and died on me. Um, but basically, uh, last time I was out on it, I had some carburetor issues. And I sorted that out the other day. Um, but when I put the tank on, I don't know if you can see this, but I had kinked the fuel line and it wasn't letting enough fuel into the bowl so it was emptying quicker than it could refill but it's all good now so so I've, i haven't even got to the campsite yet and i've got the i've broke down three times and my fucking kickstand's broke as well which is cool so let's see what else happens bye bye We're at the campsite now. Pete's gone to get some supplies. Um, let me show you my bike. This is where she sleeps now. Here he is, Rob. Guys, Pete's been got some supplies. We've got beers, of course. Um, more beers, of course. The main event, steak on a stick. So the problem I've got is every time I need supplies for my bike, I have to walk all the way over here to the nearest tree where my bike resides peacefully. And then I have to walk all the way back to Pete. Actually, it's not that far, is it? Just being a lazy prick. morning it's uh, six o'clock in the morning it's not too cold actually didn't sleep too bad to be fair considering I'm in a bivy bag looks like it's gonna be a nice day today so we're gonna hit the trail soon see what happens Right, we're at the start of the route now. There's a gate right over there, that's our first lane. Oh! <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> oh, and my feet are soaked. Let's try and get it in neutral. Go Pete! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pete's definitely going to fall off. Oh, he took oh. me with him! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Right, just up for lunch. What time is it now Pete? 11.49. 11.49. Yeah. And we've done <laughs> how many miles? 14. 14 miles. Mmm. We've just stopped for yet another gate, as usual. And Pete says, oh, Dan, you, your kickstands fell off because I've strapped it to my bike. And I says, no, that, that's not my kickstand. And we found another KTM kickstand. Woohoo! It happens to them all, boys and girls. Attack of the tree. We just took a wrong turn and on the way back down we've got a nice section where we've decided we're going to try and do some elephant turns, J turns, whatever you want to call them, power slides. Let's see how this goes. That didn't work out very well because it turns out we're on an illegal trail so we've got to leave immediately. Get yeah, a guided tour out now. Right, little update of what just happened. We, we set up the camera to do some epic power slides. You missed out there, internet. Um, but the guy, the, the ranger or trail police, whatever he was, says that the, the trail is now closed because dickheads on illegal motorbikes have been coming over and chopping down trees to make new trails and stuff like that. So they've had no choice but to shut it, which is a shame. Gives us all a bad name, so we just did what we could. We were polite, we left, and now we're heading back on ourselves, and we're back on a, the way we came, which is, we've been assured is legal. Because that's the way we roll. We're sad. <laughs> Right, that concludes our 24 hour. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, there's a ninjas going past on ninjas. Um, so that concludes our 24 hour um, adventure challenge. We've, we, what time is it now? Can you just tell me? Uh, it's quarter three. So what's by the time I get home, it, that will be pretty much bang on 24 hours. Um, We've been to another country. Well, I have anyway. Pete's already Welsh. <laughs> um, and the grand total we spent was £60 each, and that's for camping, fuel, food, and beers last night. Yeah, um, so that is a very, very good deal in my eyes. Um, and on top of that, we've had a fucking brilliant time, haven't yeah, we? Man. Yeah. The weather's been great. The weather's been, been great. amazing, yeah. Thanks yeah. have been good. So, yeah, there you have it. You can go on a mini adventure in 24 hours on next to nothing. Thank you for watching.